it has been a while. <laughs> um, I have been keeping up with everybody posting comments, with all my new subscribers, and you guys are amazing. You make me feel like, I don't know, like I'm actually doing something good. <laughs> um, there's been a couple comments that kind of made me feel like, well, shoot, I don't know. <laughs> kind of make me feel like I'm weird, I guess. But, you know, for the most part, I really appreciate all the comments. I really appreciate all of, you know, all the compliments even. Everybody's saying that I deserve more and like all this stuff. <laughs> I think that's awesome. But these last couple of months have been really hard. Like, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff in life, in my life. Um, I tried some new things. I got like three different new jobs since the last time I posted a video. And I'm gonna be getting another one here soon. And so, I don't know, my life is just kind of weird right now. And as I watch my subscriber count grow, it just gets even weirder, you know? I feel like I have this huge, huge, huge fear of failure. I am so afraid that the next video I put out is going to suck. <laughs> that I don't even want to make it, you know what I mean? And so I haven't. <laughs> I haven't made a video in forever because I felt like I wasn't good enough. And so today I got a little bit of time. I don't have, literally I have one of these mechanical pencils and a piece of paper and that's it. And we're going to do a video and I'm going to chat with you. <laughs> so today, um, we're going to start off by finding something to draw. So let's draw this. Uh, I guess I just wanted to say that I'm super sorry to everybody, honestly, because I haven't really held up to my end of the bargain, you know? Um, I've been wanting to, but as some of you may know, I do have three kids now, <laughs> two under the age of two, and it's crazy. Like, I don't even know. I'm barely sleeping, working all the time. My husband has a job as well. So, like, two days ago was our 10th anniversary. And I think we saw each other for maybe like 20 minutes. And part of that even was while we were working, because we work at the same place. So, <laughs> everybody has just been tired, you know? And everybody is, it's like going around. People are just tired, you're exhausted. We all need to stop and just take a break for a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. The kids are taking a nap. Hopefully they stay down for a little bit, just, you know, long enough for me to do at least a little bit of drawing. And, yeah. Oh, so an update on the Ohuhu markers they were, that I was gonna do a giveaway for. Um, 
one of the main reasons why I haven't been on for a while is because I was kind of embarrassed. So my daughter actually got into the markers, the pins, and she opened them all up and she dried them out. So right now I am waiting. I'll probably do it here pretty soon, but I have to get, I have to go buy a new set so that I can actually do a giveaway. And on top of that, I don't even know how to actually like select a random winner. So if anybody could help me do that, I would really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I kind of probably, you know, should have done a little bit more research on how to do that, but I didn't even think about it. You know, I just thought maybe there's like some kind of easy way to do it and, and it would just kind of happen. You know how like in school you would wait till the last minute? to work on a project and then you would get like a B and you were like cool with that because you're like nice you know that's good enough well yeah I was definitely one of those people and apparently I still do it today and so yeah I've got to probably deal with that issue um you might be wondering why I'm using this like cracked phone you probably can't see it I don't know if you can tell that's pretty cracked it's an iPhone 8 um, this is actually my daughter's phone, and she's at school right now, so I'm using it. Uh, yeah. My life, my life is a mess, guys, honestly. I don't know if your life is a mess, but if it is, I feel you. <laughs> um... So yes, the giveaway is still totally a thing. I saw that I actually reached 800 and I think I was at 803 subscribers. And I don't even know how that's possible because I feel like I do not even deserve that many. Um, so thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I don't know, you know, maybe this could be like a little meet be like a meet the artist type of a thing so I'm 29 I have two children or no I'm sorry god I have three children two of them are under two one's 18 months and the other one just turned seven months and let's see what do I do I draw silly things I actually really want to be a tattoo artist. I've kind of always wanted to be a tattoo artist. Well, it was between that and being like an art teacher, but I sucked <laughs> at college. I'm not very, I'm not a good person. Well, I'm a good person, but I'm not good at learning, I guess you could say. I don't know. I can draw, honestly. I'm creative, I'm a creative person, but that's about it. <laughs> Um, math. I'm terrible at math. I don't even know how I survive every day because of how bad at math I am. Um, but here I am surviving. <laughs> My, let's see. I live in Wyoming. Um, hmm. Jeez, I'm kind of boring, honestly. I like to make cakes. So one of the things that I did while I was gone was I started like, I guess you could say it was a cake business. I made cakes and then I gave them to people. Well, they bought them. Uh, I'm so bad at talking. <laughs> that actually went really well. I sold a lot, a lot, a lot of cakes. There was like a huge, I guess, turnout for them. Like, let's see. One time I made like 40 cakes in one day. 
and I sold out of them. So they're these little cakes are called Tres Leches cakes. And it's a Mexican cake. It's basically like a white cake that you soak in three different milks. So I used evaporated milk, condensed milk, and then heavy milk or heavy cream. And you soak it in it. So you can make them in like a little pan and then soak the cakes in the milk and they get like this super delicious, creamy, they almost turn into like a pudding. Not that crazy, but almost. And they are super, super, super good. You put whipping cream on top of them and you can put like fruits on them. I did different kinds. So I did like, I had strawberry, which was just a plain one. Then I had Biscoff and Twix and I did cookies and cream one and cinnamon. I had a coffee one. They were all, you know, I don't know. They were fun and good. So that was cool. Well, that actually went so well that I immediately stopped doing it. <laughs> I think I did it for like a month and then I had people like literally asking me to make birthday cakes, make extra cake for them. Um, I had people requesting it on days that I wasn't making cakes and I was doing so well that I guess I got afraid. I'm not sure quite what happened, but I quit, I quit making them. And I mean, I had bought probably $3,000 worth of equipment, um, piping tips, molds, like all this stuff, and then I quit. And I don't know why. I don't know why I did it. Everybody asks me and I just say, oh, you know, I just wanted something more stable. Um, but that's not really the reason because they were doing really good. I think I was just afraid. I was just, I don't know. I don't know. I should probably think about that some more. But then I got a job at working at a gas station and I really liked the job. I liked it. It was fun. I really like talking to people and you know, whatnot. But then my friend got a job at a liquor store as the manager. And so she, I think I was just joke. Well, yeah, I was just joking with her and I was like, hey, so are you gonna hire me then? And she's like, yes. And literally that day I went in to talk with her and I was hired immediately. I didn't fill out any form or anything <laughs> and I was hired. And so I had two jobs for about two weeks, a little over two weeks. I was doing working two jobs and I loved it. And I've been there for about four months now at the liquor store with my friend. I did end up giving my two weeks to the other, like my two week notice to the other job. And then I've been just working at the liquor store and it's part of a grocery store. So I actually had worked there before um, as the bakery manager. And so we were acquired recently by a different like owner. And I actually went and talked to our new manager, new general manager. And I told him, you know, hey, I used to be the bakery manager. I would really like to help out the bakery because it's kind of struggling. Like it's a bakery that has no cakes, guys. Can you imagine like going into an Albertsons or something like that and seeing no cakes to buy? No cakes, no cupcakes, 
Nothing like that. They don't have it, and I don't understand why. Like, it's been driving me nuts, okay? Just know that. <laughs> so I talked to him, and he was like, yeah, okay, well, I've got to go do this other stuff. You know, maybe we'll talk tomorrow about it. So I go in the next day, and I'm like, uh, oh, hey, you know, can we maybe talk about that stuff that we were talking about yesterday? And he's like, yeah, just so you know, you know, we're going to have you moved into the bakery, like, next week. And you can take care of that. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. So now I'm not going to be in the liquor store anymore. Um, which I'm kind of sad about. You know, it was my fault because I talked to him. <laughs> and I was like, yo, can you give me this? And then he gave me what I wanted. And now I'm kind of sad about it. I don't know. I don't know. You know? Do you do that? I do that. My face looks messed up. Pun intended. No, it's not a pun. Anyways. Um, and my friend's kind of sad that I'm moving departments, but she understands. Um... And yeah, that's kind of how my life has been going. My daughter was sick. We didn't know what was going on with her. She would get this fever and it wouldn't go away. And um, I don't know, it just randomly went away one day. Like she had it for two, two days, a little bit over two days, she had this fever and we would, give her ibuprofen and then it would go away but then it would be back like within an hour or two and so we would have to give her some more ibuprofen and then it would go away and then you know it just kind of like kept going like that and then it was like six hours between the doses of ibuprofen and she would wake up in the middle of the night just screaming and so you know of course being a mom I would freak out and be like oh my god I don't know what's happening um why it's happening it just doesn't really make sense because it wasn't like she was throwing up she didn't have a cough like none of that she just had this crazy fever that just kept coming back well tonight she or not tonight but today she actually woke up without a fever so i think i think she's on the mend you know what i mean um still don't know what happened we actually ended up taking her to the emergency room because of it I thought that she had some kind of a seizure um, but the doctor said that it more than likely was not a seizure because of the duration of it it would have been longer it was probably because some kind of a virus that she had that uh, was in her bloodstream I guess and can cause shivers I don't know. It wasn't the virus, if you know what I mean. They did a test for that. But, yeah. I don't know. I haven't... God, I'm sorry. I haven't drawn in a while, so I'm kind of rusty. But I just wanted to, you know, stop and give you guys an update. And let you know, yo... Those pens are coming to somebody. <laughs> so get excited because I got you. They're coming. I just have to buy them again and then figure out how to actually pick a random person. Because I don't know how to do that. Uh, anyways, shoot me a comment. Leave a comment. Um, gosh, I can't stop saying um. Leave a comment. Leave a... I don't know. You could like it if you want to. You don't have to, though. <laughs> Obviously. I'm not going to sit there and... Like this. <laughs> but... Tell me... Something about yourself, you know? I talked about myself for probably too long, so... Tell me something about you. Very interested... And people. I just like people. <laughs> Alright guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being interested. Um, I hope to see more of you. And I hope you to see more of me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right.